everyone, shame on me and my family here. Don't even look at that. Don't even look at that screen. Fuck you. Anyway, today we are going to be playing more of The Binding of Isaac. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you. And uh, for any of you out there in the audience who don't think I love you, uh, you are sorely mistaken, my good friend, sir and or madam. Look up. Boo -boo -boo -doo. So, how you guys doing? I'm doing pretty good. As I said before, it's Thanksgiving, so I'm excited to get down to my Thanksgiving meal. What happened to the video yesterday, Zunzun? You goddamn idiot. <clears throat> I'm sorry, with everything that's been going on for Thanksgiving, and um, my one of my buddies, good buddies came down, and a, a bunch of other stuff, it's just, I haven't had a chance to sit down, and I haven't had a chance to sit down and play video games for an hour, if, you, if you'll even believe that. Um, so, sorry about that. Um, I will try to, you know, get back to the daily upload schedule, obviously. Um, I mean, I've been doing it for so long. I've only missed, like, what, one day in the last a million episodes of Isaac, so that's pretty good. And what do we got for our item room here? A Curse of the Blind, so who knows? Little Steven. You know, honestly, of all the companions you can get early on, Little Steven's probably one of the best, just because he rarely is going to miss because of his whole, his whole psychic stick. Uh, kill that guy. Yeah, die. Die, motherfuckers. Whoa. So, uh, what are you guys thinking about, uh, about Thanksgiving, huh? Are you guys think that's a good holiday? Because I think it's a pretty good holiday, but I don't think the natives like it very much. Because <laughs> the natives, I see them like a, they're a dirty disease. Those goddamn natives. No, uh, I just say that because my buddy has to work today, like all freaking day. And that, that doesn't really seem fair on a, the literally probably the only pre-1900 holiday that is about any minority group. <laughs> I know what you're going to say. Well, it's not about it's not about a minority group. It's about a uh, it's about the uh, pilgrims of Plymouth Rock. Yeah, but Thanksgiving was supposed to be giving thanks to the earth and to the natives who helped the people of Plymouth, Plymouth Rock during the very dangerous winter season or early beginning of the winter season in over there at Plymouth Rock. So it is kind of about them, just saying. So you, you think they would be like, okay, that's the one holiday a year we're going to take off because it's the one day that's about us, about our people who were freaking raped, pillaged, thrown to the thrown to the side of the road, just completely treated like garbage. Oh my god. I know you guys are, Zunzun, why are you saying, oh my god, you just got the great, greatest item in the entire game. No, dude, I need spirit hearts, fam. You guys know I take damage like fucking Gandhi takes down evil social policies. Anyway. No, no, please blow up. Oh, I'm, I really fucked it now. Okay, good. Ooh, when I thought I was an idiot, but actually I'm just the greatest genius to ever live. That was awesome. That was awesome. Way to go, me. Anyway, and of course, that one didn't give us any spare hearts either, because apparently Eve is just allergic to spare hearts, and there's no way she can ever get any. But I don't know. Maybe you guys disagree, but I I, I feel like it is a holiday, you know, maybe not 100% about them, but partially about them. So you think they would be like, oh, hey, look, we're the only minority group who got a holiday before the 1900s. We should be, we should be happy about that, but, you know, whatever. God damn it. <clears throat> <clears throat> Obviously, I'll take the Ankh if I have to, but I would rather not. Um, so we're looking for a deal with the angel on this floor. I don't know if you guys could tell that, but okay. Well, that guy almost that guy almost pranked my ass. Prank your ass. Watch yourself. Prank your ass. Show you how to do it. Okay. I'm doing some good dodges on these douchebags in the middle. I like it. I like it. So the game store never called me back. Is that is that annoying? I'm pretty sure that's super annoying because it's like he told me call me back tomorrow or the next day and we'll talk about you getting the job. And I did. I called him back. Well, I think I called him back maybe a day later than that. But I was like, okay, I'm calling now. Sorry, I finally got you know figure out what's going to be happening. Please call me back. And I haven't heard back at all. And I called them and I was like, hey, what's going on? And they're like, oh, motherfucker, really? God damn it. Well, we're fucked now, boys. You guys gotta, you guys gotta fucking give me some credit there, though. The game does not want me to have my deal on this floor. No fucking, no spear hearts at all, and I still almost managed to get it. You know, you got, you gotta give, a, you gotta give a boy some credit, a young boy some credit. 
Moon Man, Moon Man, can't you see? Okay, we'll take that just so we can pop our uh, pop our razor blade on the boss fight. Uh, please, please, please. Ugh, why are all these items bad? God damn it. We will fight our boss. Might as well. And of course, it's double monstro on a rock filled room. Excellent. Thank you, game. Hey, everybody, Zunzun here, and today we are going to be playing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But that, that was BS. That guy, all of his shots went one direction, and then the one shot went all the way over to me. What the heck was that? Oh, well. Uh, I think we will use. I think we will use this on this floor, or this room, just because this guy is uber tanky. Uber tanky. And we get another free play of it anyway, so we might as well. There was no reason not to. Maybe this time we'll actually get some spare hearts. What do you guys think? Leave down in the comment section whether or not I'll get spare hearts. You got three seconds. Three, two, one. Did you comment? Did you freaking comment? Did you freaking... I'll go to your house and I'll kill you. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, we don't have any bombs. I was really hoping that room would drop bombs, but it's whatever. Die. Die. <laughs> okay, we got a spare heart. Probably should have saved it, but whatever. Interesting. Ooh. Ooh. The greatest. He's the best. I'm the best around. I've never ever lost a run ever. I'm the best around. You can't prove otherwise, you bastard. And, and you say, Zunzun, you have plenty of videos of you losing runs. No. Look at the, those weren't me. I didn't. I, I, somebody, somebody stole my account. Somebody hacked my account and played for me. Don't ever say that again. Anyway, so we're gonna keep moving here. But yeah, it's just like it's one of those things. I guess it's like it's like if we had a if we had a holiday, and it was like it was like originally it came from when you know this family was gonna starve, but then they you know went out and. <laughs> this is gonna sound so bad. Um, they went out and then like their their people who the people who were their slaves were you know sitting around and they were all enjoying a nice meal. I'm gonna actually turn this down a little bit. Uh, Mulligan's pretty good. Not gonna lie. Anyway, and they went out and their slaves were enjoying a nice meal of foods that they had procured for themselves, and then the slaves shared it with the their white masters, which just be out of the kindness of their hearts, right? And so they, so we had a feast for that day. And like that was the basis of the story. And it's like, well, that story's about slaves, so that's bad. Uh, is it though? Because really, what I'm saying is, it's a story about another culture actually, you know, being celebrated. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just a regressive, racist old, right wing, wing leaning man. But okay, that was pretty bad. I got myself into a pickle there. But whatever. We had enough spear hearts. So I'm not worried about it. There are no bombs on this floor either, which is good. Die, bitch boy. Die. <laughs> Quit throwing bombs everywhere, please. Okay. Yeah. No, thank you. I don't know. So I, I just feel like maybe maybe the natives should like celebrate it and like actually take it as a day off. Like, and is it even, is it, is that, it, am I even being right? It doesn't sound like I'm just like, are you ungrateful natives? Because that's not what I'm trying to sound like. I'm trying to sound like, hey, you know, maybe just be happy. <laughs> maybe just, you know, everything, just because it's from pre-1900s doesn't mean everything is bad. I'm going to drink a little bit of my cider here. Damn it, it's cold. I blame all of you. Anyway, so good though. Cider is delicious. No bombs, so no thank you. Yeah, yeah, die, die. <laughs> anyway, pop into here. Ooh, proptosis. I likey. Zunzun, -zun, likey, likey. Anyway, keep moving here. But yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's just it's just a thought. It's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. Except for it's not a game theory at all.
I think I've already talked about this on the channel, but I don't know why that poor boy gets so much disrespect on the internet. This isn't an internet show. This is this isn't even a YouTube show. Blah blah blah. It's like, come on, leave the man alone. Leave Matt Pat alone. You people all make cancer too. There's no reason to make fun of him. Anyway. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get so many comments. Oh, my favorite YouTube creator doesn't make a cancer. My favorite YouTube creator is the great is the greatest. Nah, nah, fam, nah. Every YouTube creator makes some sort of annoying cancer. Whether you like it or not. Whether it's disliking popular shows, like I Hate Everything's newest video about Big Mouth, or it's... And I, I, I never watched Big Mouth, so I actually have no opinion. So if you guys are wondering, like, well, do you like it? And I, I, I don't know. I don't, I've never watched it. I'm imagining I won't, because it seems like a very Seth MacFarlane show. And as much as I... As high as I put those shows on my top 10 greatest animated series lists, they're probably not very good. <laughs> And I probably wouldn't like them very much. Look at our eyeballs, that is so weird. You got like squeezy and proptosis like overlapping each other. Why? Why couldn't this have been something good? Ooh, thanks for the devil hearts devil, but I want nothing to do with that. And we're gonna skedad hole. Yeah. Try to make good time. Maybe we can like, maybe we'll go sneak into our boss rush and there'll be dad's key and then that'll guarantee our deal with the angel chances, but probably not. Anyway, keep moving here. Our damage situation is looking pretty good. We got a nice prop, little proptosis bit here, which is good. Um, we will go into there, but later. And we'll come down here. We gotta do this, right? Like, that's just... Okay, I was gonna say, did neither of those go through? Well, that's just a freaking... That's just three free bombs. Or two free bombs, honestly, after the... Or actu actually, after the, uh, the whole conversion thing there. Yes, please, make this battlefield easier for me to navigate. I much appreciate that. Alright. No! You fucking cuck game! Oh my god! What was I supposed to do there? Leave down in the comment section what you think I was supposed to do if you think I'm a fucking idiot. Because I think you're a fucking... No, I'm not even going to say that. I love you all. I love you all so much. I think about you at night when I touch myself. Anyway. I touch myself! No, what is it? When I think about you, I touch myself! I really hope my door's closed. Okay, it is. Oh! I don't want anybody else. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, this room is kind of bullshit, not gonna lie. It's just because of the angles, it's like they can shoot at you, but you can't shoot at them. Yeah, you, you, you guys understand. You guys are you guys are smart cookies. Okay, well, that was just a bad dodge, honestly. Which I am apparently full of. They call me Bad Dodge Bill. You guys, I don't understand the Easy Steve, or what is his name, Easy Pete memes. Have you guys ever seen those, uh, those New Vegas Easy Pete memes? I don't get it. Also, I could play Fallout if you guys want. I own Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas on my, uh, on my, uh, MacBook Pro. So, I'm, I'm just kidding. But on my Steam account. So, I would be willing to play both of those, and I could even mod them. Um, I could also play a modded Skyrim if you guys would like to see that. I have, I'd have to probably, you know, get rid of my nude and sex mods, but, uh... <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Only nude mods, no six mods. I'm not. I haven't. I haven't gone that far down the rabbit hole yet. But yeah. So if you guys, if you guys want, I can do uh, videos on that. So go ahead and leave a comment. Leave a comment telling me what videos you would like to see, my boy. Uh, yeah. That's honestly just more bug generation. So can't be too upset about that. Ooh, we will talk about that because that may end up if we don't get an angel deal. If we don't get an angel deal, we get a lot more. If we get a way to generate some sort of defense, maybe. I'm thinking about it because it's still kind of early on, so it, it would be the best time to do it if we were going to do it. But at the same time, knowing my luck, I'm not going to get the spirit heart drop, so... Eh. We will see. We will see. Boom. Okay, so more, more spirit hearts. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. You guys ever... You know... iDubs is iDubs, right? I think Video Game Donkey is the iDubs of the video game world. And I'm willing to argue with anyone who wants to argue about that. About that, But I think that they are probably the... Uh, or that he probably is. Because he, like, he has the same... Like, there's a reason I watch both of them. And it's because they both have, like, that, that kind of comedy personality where it's just like, uh... They're kind of a satire on themselves as much as they are, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm looking too deep, maybe I'm a fucking, maybe I'm fucking Rick and morty this, maybe I'm looking too deep into a premise that doesn't actually exist, but... Oh, 
Okay, so here's how we do this. We got six cents, so we will buy another spare heart. We're gonna go for one half of the key. So what I'm gonna do is, first of all, I'm gonna do this. Hope for a black heart. Of course, no black heart, but what are you gonna do? Uh, ooh, uh, okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do this. We do this. We're gonna do this. Come on, bless me. Bless me, Papa. Papa, bless. Okay, I feel blessed. Okay, spirit hearts. God damn it. Spirit heart, awesome. Oh, jeez. I got spooked. I got spooked. And then we come out here. And this may seem like a terrible idea, but there's there, there's method to my madness. Promise you. Anyway, we'll go in here. We didn't. We are not going to get the damage upgrade now, which is bad. Okay. Oh, I didn't know which one it was. Fuck me, dude. God fucking damn it. I hate having to get Mega Saiyan runs, because you have to play fucking risky. And the game was like, oh, I'm gonna... And maybe I should've... Maybe I should've saved those red hearts, so I, like, would've had them in the actual fight or something. Like, I don't... I don't... I'm so pissed, dude. I fucking hate having to get Mega Saiyan runs. Mega Saiyan is such cancer. God damn it. My rage, my rage, I'm sorry. You guys could probably hear my rage feeling. Alright, well this is actually just fucking terrible. This is a uh, slightly better, but at the same time worse, because it can't really be used again. You know, I'm just gonna restart this run. I am I'm giving myself cancer right now. I'll restart this run. Alright, sorry about that boys. I'm fucking I I just I I just went full pissed off mode right there. But um, hopefully our item room on this floor won't be absolutely god awful. Like, what, what what would you guys have recommended? Should I have saved those red hearts and then like played the thing, use the red hearts when my health got low, and then like been able to keep the damage event? See, those angels, I just hate them because until you know which angel it is, you don't know what their shot pattern is. And maybe there's a way to tell, like, is it based on their bandanas or something? Like, which angel, which shot pattern one it is? Because I, maybe you should just always hold, like, weird, that weird freaking angle in front of them. I don't know. I don't know. I'm fucking, I'm bad. What do I fucking know? This video is probably going to end up being overly long. Oh, again, all of my videos, I freaking have to play three runs. Oh, my God. Look at this base damage, homies. Look at this. It takes me that long to kill a freaking porpoise, whatever these are called, a porpoise, <laughs> yeah, it's a porpoise, argue with me, fucking come at me on Twitter, bro, at, at me, <laughs> is, that what is that what it is, at me, oh my god, I hate this game, oh my god, I'm fucking tilting, I'm tilting, I'm tilting, anyway, keep moving here, this will be a fucking great item, I'm getting fucking pranked, dude, I'm, I'm rerunning it, rerolling again, alright, we go in here, 16 guppy items, alright, Two devil dudes is not 16 guppy items. Oh my god. I'm just gonna... Wait, I got hit? Fuck. Well, I lose, so... Fucking game, dude. Alright. Blank card has a lot of positive purposes here, so I think we're gonna try to... Try to see if we can survive with Blank Card. I mean, if we can get Blank Card Hierophant, then getting to the Devil Room will be easy as fuck. You know, Blank Card Hierophant, I, um, Item mat Mater, that, pff, there we go. Our Nuns Habit, whatever it's called, boom. Uh, we have to, we really have to, okay, we don't have to kill that poop, good. It's becoming fucking a, it's becoming a labyrinth of red hearts. This is, this is, this is a little annoying. Good, good, good play, good play. Um, what? Oh, one makes you small. I was trying to press E to freaking 
I think it's because my brain was like hoping it was gonna drop a bomb, so I was like pressing E to like place a bomb. Oh well. I'm tilted. I already said it. Ooh. I I I already spoke the truth. I already know what's going down. God damn it! Stay away from me. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. We're so dead. We're so dead. Okay, we're not dead. We're just injured. We're just injured. Freaking. Staying near dead. Okay, come on. Oh god, fuck you. Holy crap, dude. This floor is so dangerous. Okay, uh. Okay, I was gonna say. Any card, any card, please. Okay, so we're gonna. Run through here like it's, we're, it's fucking our job. Any card, any card, any card. Okay, a bomb. Alright, so. What this bomb is gonna do is this bomb is gonna allow us to go in here. It's gonna. This is gonna drop us two cents. This is gonna drop us a dime. All right, close. So we're gonna go here and pop this. We're gonna get a, an awesome item. Some people don't like it, but I like it. And uh, unlimited access to the shop. Yay. That was our normal secret room? What the heck? That is really weird. You guys seeing that? What the hell? Anyway, um, unlimited access to the shop could potentially- Oh, of course it's Ragman. I'm always going to take at least one hit against Ragman, so... This is- this is probably the end of this run, which is sad because it was looking really good. It was looking like a real good run. Like a real, real, real good time. If we can get one of these bitch- oh, we got one of them, okay. So now if we see a shot that looks like it's about to kill us, we should try to- We should try to hermit card out of this room. Because we could buy a spear heart and keep us alive. Ragman, why do you have so much health? Can you be annoying or have too much health and not have both of those attributes, you fucking asshole? Oh my god, I mean like, the freaking, the devil dude, or the Beelzebub dude. He does not have too much health, but he's fucking annoying. Okay, that I can deal with. This drops... No, we don't want this, because we have no way of... We have no way of losing. Uh, I'm gonna go buy that spear heart. <laughs> this is looking more and more. Actually, you know what? I just do this, and we're gonna get to our shop. Look, saved precious seconds there. And we are uh, gonna run through there and jog through there like it's fucking our job. Like it's our jog. Ooh, no. Okay, good. <laughs> Whoops, that would have been bad. Although, actually, I think it gives you an uh, empty red heart slot. But still, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want nothing to do with it. If we get up to five cents and we lose our spirit heart, I will likely just use the hermit card. I mean, having unlimited teleports is actually pretty good. Like, it's it's not bad. It's just like I wish it would have been any like even better card. <laughs> like, unlimited teleports has a lot of uses and everything. Oh, why? Why, Jesus? Why? Why Jesus, God, Lord and Savior, any other various worshipped figures? Okay, good. Zun, 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 just teleport, just teleport. No, I can do this. Zun, Zun, you could have, you should have, you said you could do, oh, okay, so a uh, four room Necronomicon is pretty good. Ooh, another spear heart, heck yeah. Game's paying out. Ooh, ooh, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Tower, <laughs> I mean, maybe if we find a room with a, if we find a room with a tinted rock in it, we could try. I'm just gonna, yeah. So I'm not even gonna deal with those, those foos, those foos ball foos. Um, if we f let's go see if we can find a. Uh... Okay, we can't. But and we still have found no keys, which is annoying. But let's see what we can do. We're gonna just go in here. We're just gonna use. To... Let's not use the tower on this room, actually. Oh my god! I thought I was dead. I thought I was fucking dead. Holy shit! We will survive. We will survive. Hey, hey. Okay, we have 10 cents. I'm gonna try to play this safe. We're gonna go up here. We're gonna grab this. I'm gonna just hermit. Okay, good. Okay, exactly what I was looking for. This would be really helpful. Holy crap. Hopefully we'll be able to generate more money on this floor, which we should be able to, because we do have keeper tiers. Because generating more money would be 
mucho helpful for us. Many helpfuls. Uh, death card. It's hard to argue against getting a charge of the death card, but like I'm just afraid this next room we go into is just gonna drill both of our spear heart. Okay, we didn't even have to move for there or from there, so I could just I could just panic and not move and still get the payout for it. And easy room, easy life, still no keys. And no money drops, painfully enough. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go into this room. We're gonna go into this room and get into our item room because it's gonna be a secret room. Heck yeah. Okay, well, not exactly what I was looking for. We could molest our. Never mind, I was gonna say we could molest our donation machine, but. <gasps> it has too many good synergies, I can't not take it. Why? My god, why would I do this? I mean, if we can get, there's so many good items we can get with this. That's so funny. You guys are probably like, you fucking moron. Um, we might as well just use this. It's not, it's not a card I'm looking to keep, so. <laughs> of course, of course the item room is a freaking soy milk. Oh my god. Well, if I lose this run, that's probably it for the day, but. At least, at least you guys can't say I'm not, I'm not zany. Just use our blank card, get a little bit of extra damage on this monster, because God knows we're gonna need it. Oh my God. Freaking, why do they push so hard? Like, literally, the reason people hate this item is because the knockback on it is so ridiculous. But we're gonna generate so much money, holy crap. <laughs> we might actually be able to get Nightlight, which would be hilarious. In fact, yes, we can. We can afford Nightlight now. That's funny. Oh, why would I do that? I'm such an idiot. I mean, what is it? Like a .03 damage upgrade for us? So I guess it doesn't really matter that much, but... It's still annoying to have that extra heart there. Not gonna lie. But it's fine. We are going to go into our freaking curse room, or sacrifice room, whatever it's called. I think we will buy Nightlight, night light, just because the you know the game, the game really committed for us, so we're gonna really commit for the game. If the game's gonna do dumb shit for us, then we're gonna do dumb shit for the game. So we're gonna get this here Nightlight. That's actually the Emperor. Hmm, a much better teleportation card. Oh my god, our damage is so god awful. Holy crap. Wanna drop me a dime? Alright, well it didn't, but. So, plan B is we're gonna go to our curse room. There's gonna be two monsters in there. We're gonna kill them. They're gonna drop three cents total, and then we're gonna go by Nightlight. Because I think the Emperor card is actually a pretty good card to get. <sighs> our damage is so bad. Holy crap. Alright, well, that screwed up our. Oh! Oh! Okay. So, the sun is just a better death card, so... We're only at 13 cents, maybe we can get a couple more pennies or something. And let's just pop our donation machine to see if we can get two more cents from it. I know you guys are saying Nightlight isn't that good, but I think in this meta, where slowing down enemies is going to be super helpful for us, I think that's exactly what we needed, so can't be mad, I guess. Scared of the dark? Well, now we don't have to be. A new Bioshock play is coming. A new Bioshock episode is coming soon. I'm sorry about the sorry about the delay on that. One thing we have to be sure to remember is that we have what is it? Control. Okay. We have no need to um, rush. We are not. Oh fuck me. We're not trying to get the hush fight or anything. So we have no need to rush. We probably should have taken the health upgrade just for the extra defense at this point because we basically said no to help one horror of Hat Babylon when we grabbed that half heart. Probably not worth it. Uh, not enough, at least. Can you just die? <laughs> Jeez. Um, we will use this to get Horde of Babylon. It'll probably... it'll It literally doubles your damage, so it'll make it so instead of having to hit an enemy with 35 shots, we only have to hit them with 25 shots. But it's only going to last as long as the Sun card, as long as until we use the Sun card. Which, if I had my way, I would use in this room. <laughs> because fuck this room. 
As long as I don't get orbiting tears, I should be fine. I should be fine, so we will see. Okay. And we will use the sun card. Blinding baby has appeared in the basement. Interesting. So I guess the uh, the activator on that is use the sun card with a uh, uh, blink card. Interesting. Okay, um, things that can make this run great. Uh, it's piercing shots. Piercing shots with soy milk. It literally just doubles how good soy milk is because you don't get the stupid knockback, so you can be way more accurate and get way more damage. Um, what else? Uh, Schizors? Probably not. But we will probably grab those before we go to our boss room just because they are pretty good. Uh... Makes me feel dumb for using both of my bombs, but what are you gonna do? Um, we could always, we could always do that. We will go down to our this room. What a horrible night to have a curse. Have you guys ever seen reviews on that game, Castlevania? Castlevania, I feel like, is one of those games that like made video games are what they are today, because it was like a cult classic. But that's only because everyone back then was a filthy casual. So it's like, oh, well, a lot of people didn't like it. And it's because they were, you know, there was only filthy casuals playing video games back then. And everyone was like, oh, all video games are hard. And then there was those people who played actual hard games, like the original Castlevania games. I know, what a horrible night to come have a curse. It comes from Simon's Quest, I know. I'm not saying that only Simon's Quest, but... Okay, so this room is actually horribly, horribly cancerous. Because... We are not able to kill these enemies. Okay, okay. No, it's fine. You don't have to work all the time, I guess. Flashlight, whatever. Or should I say, fleshlight? Ooh, get roasted. Anyway, um, we will have we will have that available. Compass, yes. Card, the world. Honestly, I'm gonna take the world over the sun just because we don't want to have the healing factor, which is I know weird, but it also makes sense. So. What do you want from me? And then there's no... I mean, we could buy a key. Oh, okay. Well, was there a bomb? No, it was a battery, a heart, and uh, yeah, okay. It would be nice to have a key. <laughs> because then we could... Uh... It'd be nice to have a key, because then we could get into our... Uh... Or is it a bomb? Oh, yeah, a bomb. So that way we can get... Um... There was a bomb in there. I'm stupid. I, I want a bomb, not a key. Fuck. I, my, my brain is broken right now. I'm sorry, boys. It's because it's Thanksgiving. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for munchies. Uh, there wasn't a bomb. There was a key. God damn it. <laughs> I swear, traps aren't gay. Anyway, keep moving here. We'll go into there probably after we're done with our boss fight. So is it just like every second they're in the flashlight they have a chance to be slowed or what? Because like it, it slows them like half the time. Yeah, yeah, fuck you, buddy. No, fuck you, buddy. So, you know one of one of my biggest one of my biggest piss offs about the original Terminator movie was? And you guys are gonna think I'm dumb. When uh, the Terminator goes to put ammo into the gun that the guy was selling him, first of all, why is there only one dude working at a gun store? I don't know about you guys, I've never been in a gun store that had less than three people working. Maybe it's just because I just live in this perfect little world where, you know, people are smart, but I doubt it. I'm pretty sure it's just kind of like common ethic if you own a gun store is that you always have two people working because, you know, you're selling guns. And I, I, I honestly believe the p real people who use guns, not the obviously not the fucking mass murders and stuff, real smart people who use guns, I think are, I think that, I think they are, I think they're like one of the most responsible groups of people in the world. Cause they like, if you do anything stupid around them, they will like call you out on it. They'll be like, no, this is how that's, this is how you're supposed to do that. And it's like, okay, you know, that I, I appreciate that. You know, you guys are literally working with deadly weapons and you're smart enough to say, hey, this is what we're supposed to do here. Quit being dumb. This is getting a little intense, not gonna lie. It's only because we keep getting that maggot room. And I said maggot, come on. Be mature here. Oh my god. Okay, so here's where we die. This room is god awful. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I'm not about to die to a room full of fucking... Okay, so this is spawner Gertie, so that's good. Oh, okay, and then we got Grandpa Fly back here being a dick. 
I was not about to die to a room full of a bunch of bats. Holy crap. Although we did take red heart damage in there, so our deal with the... Well, actually, our deal with the devil chances are still only 60%. Or 33%, so... I guess we can't be that upset about it. Okay. Da -da -da. We just gotta finish these guys off, or finish this guy off. It shouldn't be too hard. The one who doesn't shoot is a lot easier to take care of with uh, a attack like soy milk, because as you guys can see, I just basically have to stand here. Oh jeez, oh jeez. I just have to stand here and stand here and win. Let's go. Maybe I should have had the sun. I guess we could. The problem is we'd have to go back. Anything that we decide to do, we'd have to go back through that bat room. And obviously we can't kill those bats fast enough to win that room. So, okay, we got a red heart here. Also got a caffeine pill, but... And, oh, it gives us a card. Oh, no, wait, it doesn't need... Ooh, now it gives us a card. Interesting. Please, deal with the angel. You fucking asshole. Not only did it not give us a deal with the angel, it gave us a really, really freaking good deal with the devil item. What a dick. This game is full of dicks. <laughs> ba <-ding. laughs> I take the coin, but it's still there. ba -ding. Um, okay. Could go in here. Get our, get our horrible knight to have a curse. Okay, so... Uh, top priority should be getting to our shop, I think. Um... If we get to our shop, we can hopefully get a spear heart and secure a deal with the angel chance on this floor. Okay, so this is for, for a big room. This one is not bad. Oh, unless I completely fuck it up. I didn't know that guy. I was so far away from that guy. I didn't know he would shoot at me. All right, everyone. I know today's video sucked, but it's Thanksgiving. I got to get going. So that's where I'm going to end the video today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Please, please leave a like. So I, one like equals one me not killing myself. And I'll, I'll talk to you all next time. Bye.